Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. Today we are talking about asking for help for yourself or for your loved ones. Joining us this morning from Great Lakes Pace is Jerry Darby. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Veronica, for the invitation. So first of all, what is Great Lakes Pace for those who may not be familiar? Great Lakes Pace is a, a program where we assign a medical team to care for your loved one uh, that consists of like a therapist, a doctor, uh, medical equipment, transportation, pharmacy, and the list goes on and on. And all this is available at one phone number. Great Lakes Pace is the answer to your caregiver needs. Well, that is so incredible to just have this resource available to you when you need it. And I'm sure it can just be a struggle for many people to decide, you know, to make that choice or to get extra help. So what are some of the signs to recognize when we or someone we know may need that help? Well, one thing that I encountered as a caregiver myself, I care for my mother for eight years, is to make sure that you're not in denial. Because sometimes we're caring for people and we're seeing how they're coming along and we just say, well, they're not going to get worse. That happens to the other people, not me. So be careful that you're not in denial and that you begin to look for resources before it becomes a crisis. And it's so much more difficult to identify what's valuable in the midst of a crisis. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, you could be feeling depressed and hopeless and experiencing all those things, um, it's time to look for help. Now, how important is self-care to maintain good mental and physical health? It is so important to take care of yourself because if you don't take care of yourself and you're in the hospital or you're sick, who's going to take care of your loved one? Sometimes we can uh, have that martyr syndrome, like I got to do it. Nobody's going to do it as well as I do. But sometimes you got to let go of that control, let other people step in. They may not do it exactly your way, mm -hmm. but as long as their needs are getting met to give you a break to take care yourself, that's what's important. That is some great advice there. Now, what are some examples of self-care? Examples of self-care, and um, it, it depends on the level of need that your uh, care that you're providing. Sometimes you have to get downright selfish, and you have to get out and uh, and connect with friends. You have to care for yourself spiritually, physically, emotionally, financially. And if you're working, you have to care for yourself to make sure that you're able to perform at work. So whatever, you know, make a list of things that you enjoy doing. If it's going for a walk, if it's going to church, and do something, you know what's special to you. Put those things on the list. And when you feel like you need uh, to do something to be revived or refreshed, go to your list and do something on your list. I feel like we could all use that list <laughs> every yes, day. Yes, definitely. So, and I know we talked about it a little bit already, but how does Great Lakes Pace help those people in the community who need that help? Well, great, great Lakes Pace, when people come into our service, they often say it sounds too good to be true, and they're waiting for the catch. But there is no catch. You have a medical team that's devoted to taking care of your loved one and also committed to meeting the needs of the caregiver because we clearly understand that if you're not in the picture, uh, you're a major part of the support that we provide. So we... Um, we have services that go on and on, like I described. And not only that, we meet twice a day now. The whole medical team meets. So if there's a concern that arises after hours, weekends, holidays, it's going to be discussed in our meeting. You're not going to be waiting for weeks to get a resolution for whatever concerns you have. Well, thank you again, Jerry, for this important information. And I do want to add that this is all at one phone number. So you don't have to check over here for the therapy. Check over there for the specialist. All your medical records are contained in one location, and your whole team is discussing any problems that arise on a daily basis. Okay, and for more information and that phone number, you can head on over to the hotlink section at WNEM.com.